Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video, and today we're looking at the Machine and Pistol M1912 slash P.16 Storm, which I'll just be referring to as the Machine Pistol for the rest of the video, as that name is far too long for me to keep saying. It's the new SMG for the Assault class that has dropped with the Turning Tides DLC. I'll be giving you an overview of the weapon's stats, my tips and tricks, and full review before telling you if it's actually any good. Now, if you end up finding this video helpful or enjoyable, it'd be great if you could hit the like button for me. With that being said, let's get into into this. So stat wise, it's only sensible to compare the machine pistol to the automatico, but we're going to start with a little uncertainty as Battlefield tells us that the machine pistol and the automatico both fire 900 rounds per minute, whereas Simthig.com, which is usually very reliable, tells us that the machine pistol fires at 1200 rounds per minute. So I'm not actually sure which is correct, as my research has been inconclusive so far. If you know, then please put it in the comments below. Either way, the machine pistol is a very fast firing SMG with a ridiculous time to kill at close range. This is because it also has a higher minimum damage than the Automatico, standing at 13.5 compared to 12. Add to this that the Machine Pistol also has better damage drop-off figures than the Automatico, so essentially this thing shreds people when you hit your shots. Similarly to the Automatico, as you would expect, the Machine Pistol is a great hip fire weapon as well. In fact, hip firing is something I should probably utilise more than you'll see in the footage. I'm a bit of an aim down sight obsessive to be honest. It has very similar hip fire spread numbers except for having worse spread decrease than the Automatico Factory, and overall worse spread numbers than the Automatico Trench, but that's to be expected. It does however have a massively superior first shot spread multiplier than any of the Automatico options. Recoil wise, it definitely kicks, you'll certainly feel it. It has worse upwards recoil than any of the Automatico options. It does though have the same horizontal recoil as the Automatico Storm, so it's something you can definitely control once you're used to the weapon. So those are a lot of the basic statistics for the weapon. You've also seen how it performs when I'm using it, and there will be people out there screaming that this thing is overpowered. Well, I'm going to say that it isn't. I'm coming from a console perspective here, and I don't know how it performs on PC. The Automatico apparently has a problem on that platform, so maybe this thing will too. So let me know if that's the case, PC players. But for me, I feel like the Machine Pistol is well balanced for console, and is actually less versatile than the Automatico. Let me explain. The Machine Pistol only has 16 rounds per reload. When you're firing them out as fast as this thing does, they disappear quickly. This leaves you with very little room for error, and lacking the ability to take on more than one absolute maximum from two people in a normal situation before you need to reload. That can be extremely limiting, especially with a weapon that can take a very long time to reload. Here's an example of what that reload can be like. You're waiting for a very long time. This is because the machine pistol reloads using two clips of eight. So if you fire all of your rounds, then the reload isn't too bad. Not fast exactly, but not too bad. But if you fire anything less, you'll need to chamber each individual round required after the eight that can be loaded with a clip. This for me means that the machine pistol isn't a great choice when you need to carry a team. With the lobby balancing that BF1 has, some players have to play on a pretty weak team fairly often, especially in the smaller game modes such as Domination. In this circumstance, you can find yourself having to take on many enemies very quickly, and this weapon just doesn't make that particularly viable. So you better bring along a sidearm you're comfortable with when using the machine pistol, as you're likely to be relying on it quite a lot. You can of course speed up the reload by trying to get in the habit of firing all your ammo regardless of the situation, but this was difficult for me to get used to and can come back to bite you if you expend all of your available ammo and nobody wants to resupply you, which is pretty common with a lot of support players in Battlefield, I'm sure we can all agree. Alternatively, you can reload cancel at any point during the animation. You can do this by very quickly switching to your sidearm and back again. Any ammo you had in the weapon before you switch will now be there and you'll be able to fire, but you're limiting your already small amount of available ammo by doing that. I did actually manage to break the reload feature, as you'll see here, as I fired at the enemy while the animation was taking place, then the ammo continued to be loaded into my weapon as if by magic afterwards. So yeah, that's a thing apparently. But moving on, another way that people may argue that this weapon is overpowered is because you can actually use it at ranges that you wouldn't necessarily expect. You can tap fire it while controlling the recoil in order to hit targets further away. But let's not get things twisted. It's not exactly easy to do this. You get very little ammo to play with and usually you get the kill because the enemy was either weak or just not as mobile as they should have been. The machine pistol also has slower bullet velocity than the automatico. So it takes a little longer for the rounds to reach the target at range. Another thought I had was that 
you could question whether a shotgun would be a more optimal option when using this weapon in a lot of circumstances. Sure, you can't tap fire at range with a shotgun, but you can occasionally blast weak targets in the distance. Regardless, this isn't the main skill set of the machine pistol. It has an extremely fast time to kill with very little available ammo. It could be argued that a shotgun would allow for an even faster time to kill, plus multiple follow-up shots when necessary, and potentially less downtime from reloading. All in all, the machine pistol is a lot of fun. It's a true killing machine at close range and will be lethal in the right hand. And yes, I do think it's good, but certainly not overpowered due to the issues I've listed. I think it's balanced, at least on console, and it's nice to have another somewhat different option for the assault class. It'll obviously shine brightest in smaller game modes and in tighter areas of the larger ones. So what do you think of the machine pistol? Let me know in the comments below. If you like what I do around here and will be interested in supporting it going forward, there's a link towards the bottom of the description that will allow you to sponsor the channel for $4.99 a month. It would be truly massively appreciated while the channel is so small. And feel free to like, favourite and subscribe. I'm Get Good Guy and I'll see you next time. Latest.